Hey, what's up guys? Spencer Rhodes here. So we're halfway done with Fear the Walking Dead Season 7. I haven't been the biggest fan of this season. Um, getting sick and tired of COVID just fucking up everything. It's been a year and a half now. It's been over a year and a half now. I'm, I'm sick of COVID. I'm sick of The Walking Dead and Fear the Walking Dead getting messed up because of COVID. I'm just over it. Fear the Walking Dead Season 6 is pretty good, but Season 7, there's just... I mean, no one has been in more than one episode other than Stranded Morgan. Like, that's just too much. That's just too much. I, I want to see more of the characters. You know, it's just... That's annoying. Some of the writing decisions have been poor, in my opinion. But I have been enjoying Strand as a villain. I have been enjoying Strand going into full villainy. I feel like he's he's crossed over this threshold from which there's no coming back. He can't go back to just being a good guy. He was pretty much a good guy in seasons four, five, six, but he's gone full villain. He killed Alicia's love interest just to prove a point, basically just to make Alicia upset. He's turned away people that needed him at, at, at the tower. He's just been a full, like a full-fledged antagonist, just a full villain. He's tried to kill Morgan over and over again. He's just been just a nasty villain. And now Alicia and Strand are in this war with each other. They've, they've started this war. They're fighting a war. So that's going to be interesting for Season 7B. But I do feel like Strand has just gone full evil and there's no coming back from the things he's done. Now, Madison is confirmed to be returning to Fear the Walking Dead. She's alive. She's returning. She's coming back in Season 7. Now, she could be the one that... Bring, she somehow makes peace between Alicia and Strand because Madison has she's a, had this deep bond with Strand. They had a deep bond in the seasons, you know, prior first three seasons, season four, and the flashbacks. They started to have this big bond, and they had drinks together, and they came up with plans together. And there's there were a few situations where Strand probably should have died, but Madison got him out of it. They just kind of have this sort of strange bond, but she does care about him very much. And obviously she loves her daughter Alicia. So if Madison sees this war between Strand and Alicia, she might try to get in the middle of it and be like, guys, calm down, let's just let's you know, I'm alive, I'm alive. Let's let's just have peace and everything. And, you know, Madison, Alicia and Strand, maybe they can live together in a community or something with the others like Morgan, Daniel, Charlie. I don't know how Charlie and Madison are going to get along. <laughs> Yikes. But, yeah. Alicia and Strand are fighting this war. And I've been thinking there's a strong chance that Strand is going to die. I'm thinking there's about a 95% chance that Strand is going to die this season. Now, there is that 5%. There is that 5%. And I'm thinking that 5% of him surviving is probably basically Madison you know, coming into the fold and being like, guys, guys, stop fighting. We used to be uh, together. We used to remember the stadium. What are you fighting over? You know, and plus she's a counselor. So maybe she could counsel Alicia and Strand and, and get them to calm down and stop trying to kill each other. Maybe she can convince Strand to go back to being a good guy and redeem himself. But I feel like Strand has just done, he's done so much bad. He's just, he's done so much bad in this season. He's really been just a fully fledged villain. I don't even know if he deserves to survive season seven. Maybe, maybe this is it for him. This is his seventh year. He's had a good run. I do like the actor a lot, but maybe it's time for Strand's story to end. Maybe Strand needs to die to resolve this war, to resolve season seven. Maybe that's the only way to complete Season 7 with the storyline that he's had, is to kill him off. So I would say there's probably a 95% chance that he'll die because I, find, I feel like he's just, he's too far gone. He can't really re redeem the, himself. I don't know if he's even going to want to redeem himself. Maybe Madison can help him go back to being a good guy and bring some sort of peace between Strand and Alicia. But I just feel like there's really no coming back from the things that Strand has done. So I do feel like there's a strong possibility that Strand will finally meet his end. He will finally run out of luck this season. He will be the big dramatic death of like the season finale or something. But yeah, I do think there's a 95% chance he's going to die. And there's probably a 5, maybe 10% chance that he could live and survive. I, I do think that... 
the war between Strand and Alicia, that's somehow going to correlate with Madison returning. So I'm thinking that maybe she'll try to end the war peacefully and, you know, bring peace between the two. But Strand has done a lot of bad shit. I don't know if he can really come back and, you know, morally come back from the things he's done. And I think there's a strong possibility he's going to die this season. But we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, don't be shy. Hit that like and subscribe. I'm not going anywhere. I make one to two Walking Dead videos per day, so please hit that subscribe button. Right now we are at 955 subscribers. My goal is to try to get to 1,000 in the next few weeks. So just remember, every subscriber counts. Every bit of support matters and is very, very appreciated. Hopefully we can get to that goal of 1,000. Anyway, with all that said, I am Spencer Rhodes, and I will see you guys later. Bye.